Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. When most people mention Huawei, they immediately think of its global patent dominance in 5G and its smartphones, which once dominated the domestic market. If it weren't for external constraints, it might have already reached the global pinnacle. Now, this tech giant, which rose to prominence through communications and mobile phones, has unleashed a powerful new weapon in the crucial eyes of intelligent driving, LiDAR, which holds a 35.6% global market share, far surpassing European and American giants. Ten years ago, this would have been unbelievable. Around 2014, when new energy vehicles were just beginning to gain traction, LiDAR was still a highly expensive luxury item, costing over 100,000 yuan each, more expensive than many family cars. Even luxury cars wouldn't have been willing to install one at the time. If any automaker dared to install one on a mass-produced car, the price would likely have doubled, making it unthinkable for ordinary consumers. But things are different now. Huawei has driven the price of LiDAR down to just 2 to 3,000 yuan, or even lower. Today, Many cars equipped with advanced intelligent driving systems are equipped with five or six without a second thought, making domestically produced advanced intelligent driving systems rapidly accessible to the general public. Some may ask, what exactly is LiDAR? Simply put, it's the super eye of a smart car. It emits invisible laser light. When the laser hits an object and bounces back, it calculates the time it takes to accurately measure the object's shape, distance, and motion, creating a three-dimensional map of the road. These eyes are far more reliable than cameras. While cameras can be blinded by bright sunlight, heavy rain, or dense fog, LiDAR can reliably see the road. For intelligent driving, it's essential to ensure safety, just like a skilled driver's eyesight. In the early days, the LiDAR market was largely monopolized by American and German companies. Why were they so expensive? The core technology was limited, the dedicated chips, transmitter units, and receiver modules were all proprietary. To manufacture them, we had to buy expensive parts, making it impossible to reduce costs. To put it bluntly, LiDAR's foundation lies in semiconductor and communications technology which happens to be Huawei's core strengths. Just like having a master craftsman specializing in precision instruments repair a watch, they have an immediate advantage. The current market has changed dramatically. Data from third-party institutions shows that from January to May 2025, the LiDAR market grew exceptionally rapidly with Huawei taking the top spot with 259,000 units installed and a 35.6% market share. This growth is due to both industry momentum and Huawei's own strengths. From an industry perspective, intelligent driving has become a must-have for new energy vehicles, as important as seat belts. Huawei has a clear positioning in the automotive industry, similar to Germany's Bosch, providing intelligent driving systems and components to other automakers, 
even operating its own five sectors. As new energy vehicle sales continue to grow, Huawei's Lidar shipments will naturally soar. Technically, Huawei's Lidar is truly powerful. Its first high-precision solid-state Lidar boasts an accuracy of 3 cm, five times that of ultrasonic radar. It can clearly identify roadside water pipes, fire hydrants, even small stones and utility poles. Its wide vertical field of view allows it to accurately identify sunken steps, roadside ditches, and even small potholes. This is like an experienced driver, who can not only see the car ahead clearly, but also anticipate roadside rocks and steps, making accidents less likely. Another key reason, Huawei has mastered LiDAR. Early LiDAR products from foreign companies relied heavily on imported components, and the slightest disruption could lead to supply disruptions. Huawei, however, was different. From the outset, it focused on domestic production, over 90% of the core chips, lenses, and micromotors in its LiDAR systems are now supplied by domestic companies. Controlling the supply chain allows it to keep costs down without the fear of being strangled. Of course, the root of all this lies in Huawei's relentless investment in R&D. By 2024, Huawei's R&D investment ranked sixth globally, on par with global giants like Apple and Microsoft. Its annual R&D expenditures exceed hundreds of billions, and its cumulative investment over the past decade has reached trillions. This investment has paid off, and LiDAR is the perfect example. From a pipe dream that few expected a decade ago to a global leader today, this is the fruit of this trillion-dollar investment. Huawei's achievement of this global first is not just a victory for one company. It proves that as long as you dare to work hard in R&D and continue to invest, you will inevitably break through in core technologies. Such breakthroughs will continue to increase in the future. After all, the results of trillions of R&D investment are just beginning to show.